Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is I Am The Duchess. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> this channel is so long overdue. We moved from London, England to the States in 2014 and it was then that I decided to start a vlog just to document my time in the US. Fast forward three years later, I have finally recorded my first video and I am so, so excited. Just to give you guys a bit of a background, we moved um, to the States for my husband's job and when the, dis and when the possibility of going to the States came about, we jumped right on it. Yes, please, yep, 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 when do we leave? Because, I mean, we were young, just the thought of just experiencing a new country and a new way of living just really appealed to us. And so the decision was pretty easy for us. We just said, yep, yeah, let's go. We packed up, shipped everything, and we moved to the state. We got here in the summer. It was the best summer I had had in a long, long time. Because summer in England just suddenly became non-existent for a couple of years when I was there. But anyway, so we did so much. We went sightseeing. The town that we live in had parties in the park, cinemas in the park. There was so much to do. We had a lot of fun. Then eventually my husband went back to work and uh, it started, suddenly dawned on me that I really had no one in the States. My family, my friends, everything that I had known for a long time was I left back in London and it just, just the realization of that just put me in a place where I just wanted to to leave. I just felt that I was no longer enjoying the state. Um, I felt really lonely. And yes, I had um, my husband here, but there was a void that he just couldn't feel and bless him. He was so supportive and it got me through it, but there, there was just that void that I felt that only my really close friends and family could uh, fill. And uh, so I went through that stage. That's, that was a long time ago now. I'm absolutely so happy to be here um, still. It's been going really great and I love it. I really, really love it. And don't get me wrong, of course, London is my home and I love London, but I also love America really, really much. <laughs> But yeah, so just uh, and just talking now is bringing back memories of when we first moved here. It was amazing. Uh, well, the first day, the first full day that I was here, there was a flood. So my husband had previously told me that I used too much tissue in the bathroom, but I always disregarded the comment because I thought, what do you know about women and their consumption of toilet paper in the bathroom? <laughs> So when we moved, I flushed the toilet, the toilet flushed fine, and I don't know what was wrong with the lever in the tank, something was definitely up, because instead of the water level stopping where it was supposed to stop, it just kept going and it was filling and it was filling and it was filling. Before you knew it, it had overflown and the bathroom was wet and then it was flooded, there was a puddle, then it started leaking through the floors and going through the ceiling downstairs and through the light, it was horrible. Of course, that had to be the day that I couldn't get hold of my husband because he was in meetings. I had no choice, I knew nobody, I had no number, so what did I do? I had to call 911, I didn't have a choice. I called 911 and boy, let me tell you, when people tell you that Americans do things big, believe them, they do things big. For my one flood, they sent three fire trucks with sirens and all sorts. So I, my neighbors, they were all outside wondering what was happening because clearly they thought there was a fire. Um, but so it was really, it was really embarrassing. But anyway, they managed to stop the water supply. And of course I had all that cleaning to do and I don't even use bleach, but trust me, I had to go and find some bleach and bleach the entire house down. It was horrible. That was the first day. A Couple of days after that, 
I accidentally locked out my husband. He came, he went out for um, a dinner with his new work colleagues and I knew he was going, but I guess when I was getting ready for bed, I wasn't thinking and I double locked the door. So he came maybe about midnight, 11, maybe 11 um, p.m. He came home, tried to open the door and the door wouldn't budge, of course not, because I had double locked it from the inside. So he spent two and a half hours banging on the door, trying to wake me up. And he just said he gave up. He sat down on the steps and every couple of minutes he would get up, boom, 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 and try to wake me up. It eventually worked because I woke up and I opened up the door for him and I felt so bad. But luckily it was in the summer. It was in the summer, so it wasn't that bad because the temperature was okay. He just had to sit outside in the dark <laughs> and wait for me to, to wake up. So that was, I mean, hey ho that's just what happened <laughs> but I mean America's been absolutely amazing of course it was a massive adjustment um, initially because everything is different and that I will cover in later videos just comparing the US uh, to London it, things are so different but we'll get onto that um, in future videos as I've said but just to let you know this um, channel would is going to be primarily about a Nigeria born UK raised American living chick and how she gets by and how she's surviving in this land called America so I'm looking forward to getting to know you guys feel free to comment like share subscribe let me know if there's anything you'd like me to cover but I look forward to seeing you guys again have fun, take care, to lose.